Hello everyone, welcome back to another video at PSA. Tonight we are discussing our mid-season review to see how far, how close we've been with our uh, guesses on who's going to be in the top six, who's getting relegated, top goal scorers, etc. We're a little bit late with this, but just with the whole uh, situation with matches being called off and stuff, we're actually quite decent time with it because there's still lots of teams that have, have played less games, so... We're pretty much bang on with our timing, but we haven't really been bang on with our with our guesses. So we're just <laughs> going to get stuck right in. Top six. So the top six at the minute, as we're doing this video, is City's first, Liverpool's second, Chelsea third, West Ham fourth, Arsenal fifth, Tottenham sixth. <coughs> Ned it's seventh. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, how did how did you get on, Greg? Your predictions. Not very well. <laughs> three. Three yeah, top out of the top six, I got three inside the top six and three outside. I, I went just looking at your last one, you had Everton in fifth. That was that was, <laughs> that was the big shock <laughs> But I honest at that time I honestly thought Rafa was gonna come in and do an unbelievable job. It was very organised. He unbelievable. always had, always has his team very well drilled. Yeah. I just collapsed for him. He just yeah. I think the Liverpool fans were calling him Agent Rafa. <laughs> so his past while, but yeah, it just went, it just went round for him. Yeah. And yeah, I don't. Know, we'll get probably get the United eventually. I don't know what to talk about United. Yeah, the last yeah. episode Arsenal got an awful doing, so I think this episode. Yeah, we're gonna Arsenal fans here tonight. So. <laughs> yeah. uh, you had Chelsea, then United, City, Liverpool, Everton, Leicester. Yeah, but I did say I think Leicester was going to have a have an up and down season, and yeah. they're not. They're what? What are they at, at the minute? Tenth. Tenth. Yeah, tenth. Yeah, but they're not top top six, obviously. But yeah, saying that, they do have three and four and five games in hand over some of the teams. So yeah, that to take them up and maybe contend for top six. But yeah. as things stand at the minute, they're brave to up. Yeah. I had United finish first. It's still going to happen. <laughs> it's going to happen. Uh, Chelsea, City, Liverpool, Leicester, Villa. It was my six. I have no idea where Villa's at at the minute. They're uh, I'm 11. I'm sure they're not the top, top half of the table, are they? No, no they're down at the bottom. Yeah. But, 14th, 15th. But they have Jared in there now, so... I will hope I'm wrong. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. I said I thought the same about Leicester. Um, Liverpool didn't think they'd be just as strong but then at the same time Liverpool Chelsea they're sure that it should be stronger this year like what City's what, something 11 points ahead or something yeah. it? but it is what it is Matthew 4 out of my 6 are right but not positionally ok so you had Chelsea to win the league City, United, Liverpool, Leicester, Spurs. Yeah, Spurs. You're the only person who said Spurs. Spurs are sixth at the minute, and I had them down for Okay, sixth. yeah. Um, I've got top... Well, I've got Chelsea, City, and Liverpool there. Yeah. But I think one that everybody left out is West Ham. Yeah, don't think West Ham was mentioned. don't think West Ham was mentioned the whole thing last time. They're flying. Yeah, they're going very well and looking... You know, maybe, maybe not... Everybody's writing them off to hold on to fourth, but you know I think they've got as good a chance as anybody is finishing in the top four. I definitely think they're finishing the top six. Yeah. But I think they've got they've got a strong chance. Maybe if they add one or two before the mm. window's over. Mm. But then I suppose they're one of those teams that if you pick up two or three injuries, yeah. they fall very quickly. Yeah, they don't have a lot of strength and depth. I don't think they have too many games on them. No, they they're they setting. Most of their they play twenty two. Chelsea play twenty three. Yeah. So. You yeah. know, Arsenal are only two points behind them with two games in hand. Spurs are three points behind them with uh, three games in hand. So, you know, it all depends on games yeah. in hand at the minute. But as yeah. things stand, they're, they're sitting very yeah. sitting very well yeah. at the minute. Jared Bowen's flying. You, you have to give Moyes credit because last year, what, did they get into Europe this year? Did they? I yeah, they're in Europa League. Yeah, yeah. still are. And every, I, I thought they were just, you know, riding, yeah, a good one the season wonder yeah. type thing. Yeah. But like you look at them and yeah. they're playing well, When Europa League kicks off again, 
February. Yeah. That could that could hurt them. Good. Thursday Thursday Sunday football is not easy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Especially if you don't have a lot of strength and depth. But yeah. I wouldn't mind seeing them do well. To be fair, I don't mind West Ham. I, would, I think Moyes has found his level. Possibly again. one of the few clubs that checking out that you don't mind, is it? I still hate them, <laughs> but. <laughs> Moyes at United was never going to be. It's never. Yeah. It's never going to really happen for him because he was always that person after Ferguson. after Ferguson. But you also have to forget he's actually coming back to West Ham for the second time. Yeah. You yeah. Know, so lots of people say you know never go back to where you were before, so it never ends well. But yeah. it's obviously his decision is is paying off at the minute, and yeah. he has them in you know in great position at the minute, and they seem to be playing very very well. So that that midfield they have of Rice. And so check is so good. Like, yeah. So as, as a basis to, to start from a midfield, like the, one sets and one just goes uh, yeah. all the time. I'd be handing them a blank. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> for either of them, for either of them, or both of them. I would take I would take them two over Fred McTominay to be honest. As you know, oh, like, yeah. Is for sure. Yeah, big, strong, physical players. For sure. West Ham definitely did well, and Richard didn't really have a top six. He didn't really. He bluffed it. It's not, it's not he didn't even swap the night, so <laughs> what were we going to say? Um, a surprise, because so, Arsenal actually did quite well. Yeah. Uh, so, relegation. Um, Greg, you had Norwich, Brighton, and Wolves. Um, Norwich are 18th at the minute. Brighton and Wolves are sort of mid table. Yeah. Uh, I had Norwich, Southampton, and Burnley. So, I got um, Norwich and Burnley. Uh, I think Southampton's up 12th at the minute. Matt, you had Norwich, Brighton, and Brentford. Mm-hmm. Um, Brighton and Brentford so going well. Everybody said Norwich. Yeah. Um, Seems to be a thing with Norwich. Go nobody, up, get relegated, yeah. go up, get relegated. It's yeah. pretty much a yo yo. Yeah, Fulham and West Brown. But Evelyn did say that this, their squad just wasn't good enough. Yeah. And whenever their fans are turning on them players, mm-hmm. the likes of Billy Gilmore. Yeah, it's not a good sign. It's not a yeah. good sign. And what were they doing last week? They were, were they pretending that a goal was scored and they were cheering or something? Yeah, uh, just at, ra- at random points in the game. And Dean Smith kind of called it out and said, "You know, your sarcastic chants aren't really helping the team." Yeah. Fair enough. You know, like um, sometimes yeah. you have to question, like, what you know, what is well at the minute, like they're sitting only a point from safety, like. You know, so we're sitting yeah. right in the mouth as if they're dead and buried. But yeah. and there's, 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 like we said, I think we said there's six or seven clubs that are still, mm-hmm. yeah, still like, and we haven't. Nobody mentioned Newcastle. I don't no, think. No. Newcastle, well, they lots of things happened since the last preview. Newcastle are now the richest club in the world. Of course. <laughs> so buying the random, randomest players in the world. I still don't get like if they've obviously sacked manager with going to that later. They've now got Eddie Howe. If Steve Bruce had brought in Chris Wood, oh, would have mad, would have went crazy yeah. up in Newcastle. But well, just the revolution. So anybody, yeah, Chris well, Wood, Kieran Trippier, talking about Lingard now. I don't think it'll happen. I hope it doesn't happen. I, I don't no, think he's got six months left in his contract. Yeah, there's not too many are bothered by. It hardly matters. He hasn't get played anyway. Just um, for footballing purposes and yeah. for football, yeah. <laughs> I want you guys to go down. Like. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure if you yeah. shout me up. Yeah, <laughs> always neutral. Sorry, any Jody fans are watching it. Um, yeah, so that, that's how the relegation we thought the relegation would go. And who is the bottom three at the minute? Bottom three is Burnley, twentieth with about ten games in hand. Newcastle. Um, and Norwich, but they're all separated by two points, and Watford are just a point above the drop. And in Everton, are only five points ahead of Burnley, ahead of Watford. You know, so running from Everton down, mm. you I know, know Leeds, Leeds are won there, a couple right? of games there recently, maybe dragged themselves out of it for now, but you know, fall back pretty quickly. I don't I think that's going to change very much with what it is. Because I think them bottom four teams are quite poor, mm. and I think the only one that'll get sucked in it is Watford. I think Everton will have enough mm-hmm. to steer themselves yeah. clear. But Les Burnley has a great run with their games on hand. Yeah, was Watford even mentioned the last time? Don't really think so. To go down, maybe in passing, but I think they're they're sort of turned into one of those yo-yo clubs. Yeah. Well, Ranieri coming in there could. Yeah, yeah, 
Well, uh, <laughs> a bit us four one two. Just yell that out. Come on, come on, black guy. Don't worry, don't worry. Moving on, top goal scorers, and um, I had Bruno. I had Salah. Mm. You had uh, Lukaku. Lukaku. <laughs> <laughs> so is Salah just yeah. Salah just, say, yeah. is Salah just Salah to point by, out that by was 10 goals one for me yeah. he's in 16 yeah. like, who's the closest Jota is it Jota on 10 um, and Probably Salah's not. missing a month as well out of the yeah African Cup of Nations yeah. the goal scorers currently are Salah's on 15 Jota's on 10 then there's Vardy on 9 and then there's a whole host of players on 8 so Salah's well out in his own, yeah. 16 goals, so he is yeah. well ahead. He's, he's probably leading assists as well. I think he's, he's second in assists. Second behind Trent. Yeah. Um, so Joe, what sort of the season he's having? Yeah. So he is, he's on a, he's on a plan on his own at the minute. Yeah. I know he is, unfortunately. Hello. <laughs> But, uh, <laughs> moving on quite like, <laughs> moving on from that um, <laughs> manager sacked so I think everybody apart from Matt said Arteta mm-hmm. you said Steve Bruce second Steve Bruce to go was the second to go first yeah. one to go was Cisco Munez from Watford mm-hmm. he was replaced by Ranieri so everyone has been sacked Cisco Munez um, was replaced by Ranieri Steve Bruce was replaced by Eddie Howe uh, Nuno was replaced by Conte uh, Daniel Fark from Norwich was replaced by Dean Smith. Dean Smith was replaced by Steven Gerrard. Solskjaer was replaced, replaced by Ragnick on an interim. And Rafa has just been sacked and Duncan Ferguson's the caretaker. Mm-hmm. So there's been a lot of changes. Seven managers sacked this season so far. And probably still have some more to come. It's probably, right, isn't it? probably could be a few yeah. more to go. I didn't expect Arteta to last as long as he has but I thought there would, I thought there would have been somebody to go before him you think he, you thought he was going to get sacked yes but he has done he's done a fantastic job like, yeah oh, he's done he has, yeah, I know it's only halfway hard. point but yeah it's against fun. all odds like you know we yeah. we did our our last one I think it was after the first weekend one of them Brentford beat yeah. 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 and everybody was like you know Arsenal are gone Arsenal yeah. are this Arsenal are that. but he has he's turned mm-hmm. it around and I think everybody going against him has kind of like seems to have fired him up, yeah. you know, to make sure that he does yeah. an even better job. So uh, they're, first played the Arsenal, they're, playing, they're playing good stuff at the minute. Yeah. And he's they're, doing it against the odds, like a Bamiyan, he's having problems with them. Yeah. Lacazette looks like he might be on the way out. Shaq is getting more red cards and <laughs> then you know, he's making more apologies than his assists. Yeah. yeah. But I like Arteta because he makes a decision and he sticks by it like, yeah. You know, we didn't play a Bamiang for reason. Everybody was going, you need a Bamiang in, you need a Bamiang in. But there was obviously a reason, you know, why he wasn't yeah, playing yeah, him. Yeah. And, you know, nobody can argue with what with what he's done. He, st- he makes yeah. a decision and he sticks back no matter what, like, outside noise comes in. Mm-hmm. If he thinks that's the right decision, then there's nobody going to tell him otherwise. Yeah. Which is probably why he's in such, you know, in a decent position at the minute. Which yeah. is really fair play down. Like, if, if you look at Arsenal's first three games even after we made the last podcast they went on like for the first few weeks they got beat by Chelsea 2-0 they, they got hammered by 75 at the end had mm. they turned that around and not a lot of weeks ago would be in mm-hmm. nearly beating yeah. City mm-hmm. they've had a couple of FA games but good results yeah. like mm. Palace they scraped yeah. the win and they've had a few scrappy games like that but yeah Win to win. Yeah, definitely. Against City, only for who was sent off? It was Gabriel. Gabriel. So silly two yellow cards. Mm-hmm. Yeah. They should have won that game. Should have won that game, yeah. So yeah. Big, big shout out to Arteta. Yeah. yeah. Doing a bit of man. Yeah, I hope he gets sacked next. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, right, moving on to surprise package. So I said surprise package would be Brentford and then not being in a, re- in a relegation fight. Um, I would say so far I'm doing okay with that. Yeah, so you're pretty, yeah. you're pretty good with Bad that. Yeah. Um, Greg, you said VAR just generally. It's um, well, it's been less talked about as previous um, seasons. Yeah, it's still talked about. Yeah, but after the I think after the first week, 
because the referees were letting the things go and letting yeah. contact go. Yeah. It was yeah. seemingly being the way forward. But so are you taking a win for that one then? No, I'm not taking a win for that one. <laughs> no, I wouldn't give you a win for that one either. That, that, that is a big L, a capital L. Yeah. Um, Richard, he said that um, hopefully after two game weeks, Arsenal are top of the league and they <laughs> finish, the game, finish the season with lockdowns. <laughs> so I'm not giving him a win. And Matt, what was yours? I said Spurs. Spurs, uh, yeah, they were had an interesting season. Whenever you that. said that, they went downhill quick. Time. Sacked the manager, brought in Conte. He seems to be turning the ship around yeah. without Harry Kane. Mm-hmm. Which was, that was a big talking point. The talking point was, will Harry Kane go? Will he stay? Yeah. And he stayed and turns out they don't need him. Really. Yeah. I think we did mention that he didn't really want to be there and he probably mm-hmm. wouldn't if he stayed he wouldn't be as good as what he has been well, just as yeah. we're recording this he's actually scored tonight oh great <laughs> this is, that'll be his fifth goal this season so he has oh, uh, yeah. currently drawn one all half time with Leicester and he scored so. but, thanks uh, Chris come on <laughs> <laughs> just saying <laughs> unbelievable Jeff <laughs> <laughs> just saying um, yeah so I think surprise packages went quite well for us actually I think so uh, um, especially yours was first I yeah, was, that was I think they're getting. You know, it shows you what a manager you know with a bit of experience and mm. obviously the players didn't really respect Nuno. You know. Yeah, I think they were the lowest distance covered in games, and that shot up. You know, after like one week when Conte yeah. was in, like if you can't run, I think they're now the know, highest. Now the highest. Yeah. Yeah. If you can't run, you don't really have much chance of winning matches, especially yeah. Premier League. So yeah, just shows what a manager with a bit of authority can do and. Yeah, I think Conte's come in and done well and hasn't spent any money yet. Yeah, hasn't really done anything, you know, out of the ordinary. Just seemed to got boys focused and mm-hmm. got them working like so. He, d- he did have a slow start though, didn't he? Yeah, he, d- he had a yeah. slow enough start, yeah. but he's yeah. been another one long yeah. club turn it around really. Then he got kicked out of the Europa Conference League. Kicked out of the Europa. Maybe, <laughs> maybe he meant to do that. As a know. blessing, I think. As a blessing, yeah. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Oh, sure. Um, then we had the. Uh, like a quick chat about player of the season and um, obviously I say Bruno um, <laughs> Greg you had Varane I don't want to talk I about don't, that one you, you'll not, you <laughs> wouldn't give it to him because he, he hasn't played he's so many injuries um, he just wouldn't listen United's had such a bad year if I, can, if I can remember right I think was it Gary Neville or somebody picked Varane for shining of the season as well. Yeah, possibly. On the Sky Sports one. Yeah. yeah. He was I obviously th- listening. I th- th- yeah. He was oh, obviously, yeah. yeah. I think I think when Varane Big first came for United, everybody was like, you know, this is the missing piece. Like, yeah. But he's only played, what, before matches, so. Yeah. Too many injuries. Yeah. yeah. I think we've got to that point in the episode where we're going to the elephant S- in the room here. Steering right? towards yeah. United yeah. here for a bit of. Uh, That's all for time. <laughs> it's. <laughs> it's Three United fans in dire straits. Sad, uh, like it's sad. Don't, I, don't, I don't see any way out of it this season at all. I don't. I would say that Ruben Neves. When we come back to the end of the season it. review, they're not finished top four. I don't think. No way they're playing at the minute. And I've still got hope for top four. I've still got hope for fourth place. Yeah. Because we've got a couple of games on hand at the minute over Arsenal and West Ham. And you never know, like, what what way is the table sitting with Chelsea? Chelsea slipped down to third now, and they're drawing games left, right, and centre. Mm. It doesn't take much to move a couple of positions, yeah. but I just think, I think every, there's too many teams better than us at the minute. From third to eighth, there's a lot of movement there. I think, like, I think you could still grab yeah. it if you get just just. You're hoping one. for a lot more movement than there is. <laughs> an awful lot of movement. Well, four spaces. Well, the, the top four, the battle for that last top four spot is yeah. maybe top or the, the two, last two spots. spots in the yeah. top four. Or is really up for grabs. Like, I don't it? think Arsenal's gonna get fourth. I think they're gonna get fifth from here. Spurs, no idea. Absolutely no idea what's gonna happen with Spurs. I think we're gonna be in the mix, and West Ham's gonna be in the mix. I think I think you guarantee Arsenal fifth place, not higher than the worst. I think West Ham's going to finish top four. That's where they're going at the minute. I think the top three's set, set, but maybe Liverpool and Chelsea swap to swap possibly. The fourth place is up for grabs between like there's only 
six points separating fourth and eighth. And if you want to drag it down a bit more to Brighton, there's only eight points. And I'm sure there's there's a couple of teams in there with games on hand as well because of the. Yeah, but Leicester have quite a lot of games in hand, so you can maybe bring them in. Yeah. You know what? It's tight. It's really hard to predict fourth place at the minute. I can't. I don't know who would finish. Who I think will finish fourth, but. Well, that's exciting. I'll name my colours in my ass for United. I would obviously like United <laughs> to finish fourth, but I'm being realistic. Like, I, yeah. I can't see it to be honest. Well, well since good. since the last podcast, we didn't mention it because there was no talk of it. Cristiano Ronaldo has come back. Mm-hmm. That obviously. Would you say that's a failure? I don't think it's went. You have to wait till the end of the hasn't season. Hasn't went how we thought it was going to go. But he's still he's scored. He's been still, he's scored eight goals this season. Yeah. Double assists. It hasn't. It hasn't been as bad as everybody is making out to be. But again, yeah. a lot. A lot of people will compare it to the last time he was at United because a lot of people won't have watched yeah. other him other yeah. than in the Champions League. Yeah. But then his last season at United, he won Ballon d'Or. Yeah. He's he's not that player anymore. You know, he's yeah. going to stand up. He's now 36. Top. Yeah. yeah. And you know, his pace is minimal. His work rate is minimal. Yeah. You know, he's, he's that player that just turns up and scores goals. Yeah. But we have for a summer one in Cavalli. So. Who might not want to be here? Well, I can't say what to say. Yeah. I, I still have to go back to what I said in the, the very first podcast was we need that midfielder. Mm-hmm. Oh, we didn't have it. Yeah. Yeah. We, I think we actually need three of them. Yeah, I could, <laughs> I, could, I, could, I could see with us, I'm going to need to get rid of a lot of players. Fred's good, but he makes too many mistakes. He I'm really Fred's do, brilliant, what are you talking he's, about? He'll do something really good, he'll win the ball back really well, he's and then just get away. He'll give away too many yeah. silly silly passes. He's okay off the ball, on the ball he makes too many mistakes. Yeah. McTominay I think is okay as well, but he's, doing, he's covering Fred a lot, that's my opinion. Well, apparently as a future captain. I don't want to top four. You're not going to win a league with McTominay and Fred. No. You're not going to get top four with Fred and McTominay. No harm. No, no harm, Fred and McTominay, if you're listening. <laughs> you know, you're not going to win a league with them two as you're starting midfielders. Yeah. You haven't the chance. Yeah. But no he, matter even, if you've got Ronaldo and Messi in the team. Mm-hmm. Even the leaks that are coming out in the minute, there's alarm bells ringing all over the place. You know, they're coming out saying they're splitting the camp. There's senior 17 players. 17 players want the league. Yeah. yeah. I say let them go. Yeah. Well, See you later. Ranjak, Ranjak says the squad's too big. It is too big. It's far too big. But like Van der Beek's made 50 appearances now. I can't remember three of them. I can't. 50 he's minutes? Come on for, he's come on for 88 minutes to 90 second minute. And <laughs> probably got dragged off for 90 <laughs> second minutes. It's pretty bad when Jones gets started in the head. He's probably stuck in the chest. Yeah, yeah like Phil Jones has probably made more, as many appearances this season. <laughs> yeah. He's made more yeah. starts. He's started the Premier League more times. Yeah, and it's it's pretty dire. Lingard looks like he's on the way out. Matt is nowhere near the squad. Matt it sh- probably shouldn't be anywhere near the squad. No, McTominay's not good enough. Fred's not good enough. Rashford's had a shocker. Martial doesn't want to be here. Can we stop talking about you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we move on. Talk about someone else. Yeah. What's next on the list? Let's talk about <laughs> Arsenal again. No. Lukaku. Where's it going wrong? Or right? He, he loved Chelsea 25 minutes ago. Now he doesn't want to be there. And now he does want to be there. And But that's Lukaku. He's done that everywhere he's been. Yeah. I, he did I, that with us. I thought he, he was going to be... I thought he was going to be the player that comes in, stands the ball up, holds it up, lays it off the water. It's so wrong. He's yeah. been... He's turned up for he turned up for the first four or five games and then it's just one lesson. Yeah. And he's had to come out and apologise. Well, I can't. I don't really know what he said. He had to come out with an apology. Probably sorry he said. It. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, the probably the the, talk, the thing that we don't want to talk about is are is anybody any like three players off Catson City. Like, yeah. like they are leagues ahead mm-hmm. but it's funny because at the start of the season they were like slow and, and yeah, they didn't really get they going didn't look for the, and, well other than the Arsenal game don't know which it was mm. but they, but they, they faltered and didn't really kick in the gear yeah. the City seemed to do that and yeah. then they just go in this mad 
winning run was of it like, 12 in a row yeah. or 13 in a row or just out of sight yeah. so did that last year 26 yeah. in a row yeah. and then we stopped them yeah. <laughs> that <in> there. Claim <laughs> the fame. <laughs> but uh, they're they're all unstoppable at the minute. Yeah. Like what the ten eleven points ahead? Yeah. Yeah. Halfway through the season. And they're gonna break the record for four premierships in five years. Do you think the Grealish signing was Didn't successful? Matter. Didn't matter at all. They, they they would have hundred million they, be, they needed to spend, did they? Yeah, I know. It's probably tax reasons. Yeah, like they would, they could have got rid of Grealish and probably two other players, and wouldn't matter to them. They probably could have got rid of Grealish and like or not signed Grealish and got rid of De Bruyne, and they would have yeah. been in the same place. Do they still go for his key in the summer? No, nobody no, touches Key. Just be Key in was gonna be what one hundred and fifty million. Would you give seventy million for him at the minute? He, he, he wouldn't pay twenty percent of that for Kane at the minute. No. He's he's had a shocker too, but then Yeah, what we what did say like in the end of the season. If he didn't want to be there, no matter how good of a player he is or how professional he is, if he doesn't want to be there, he's not gonna you know, turn up every yeah. week. But he's gonna have to stay there now. Who's gonna take him? I've taken you a good edit, to be honest. I was say, I'd pay 70 million for him, no power. So, not a problem. Probably the richest club in the world. Mm. He, could, he could be top scoring in the championship next year. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Sad state of affairs. Yeah. No, definitely. Definitely. But yeah, that's, I think that's most of, what's that? most of what's happened. Mm-hmm. Well, don't think about Newcastle. Yeah, richest Big club, table. richest club in the world. Mike Ashley's gone. Nothing's changed. Not yet, anyway. They. What do they need? Not four players this window. Hmm. You can't. Yeah, like at least. New uh, defence, new midfield, and and Callum Wilson not to be injured all the time. Chris Wood could get them a couple of goals. I think they'll. Yeah. I don't know. They'll just maybe stay up by the skin of their teeth. It's hard to tell. See, I think they might go down. Do, what does does Trippier bring anything that they don't have? Even <coughs> though it has his dead balls, yes, but I don't even know. Defensively, does he does he solid up with defence? A couple of strings. You wouldn't they do with not three. With the money they've had and their first two signings, you wouldn't have put Kieran Trippier and Chris Wood together. Like, no. But obviously that's what they've yeah. wanted to go for, so Yeah. I don't know, I'd say they'll probably bring in an R three or four for the windows over and yeah. just they'll probably just hope that they just even if it's goal difference to stay up by Yeah. I think it's you know, you, you vital that they stay in the Premier League yeah. for their own Yeah. Dev- for their own Yeah. But then you bring in three or four next year, you bring in three or four players and you have to hope they gel. Mm. Like you can stick yeah. you can stick five players together but well they can yeah, there the must be some bad in time for new players coming in, yeah. especially the buy so many new players. Yeah, could work against them. Yeah, I they're going down. Well, there's a lot. <laughs> there's still a lot. You know, there's a lot to play for yet in both both top and bottom of the leagues. So. Yeah, it's Definitely. exciting. Yeah. And I think our predictions were okay. Mm, okay, close enough. Yeah, not so, too bad. Uh, well, for half season. So yeah, well, we'll see how we get on at the end of the season. Could yeah. turn out. A lot closer than or could be nowhere near. Nowhere near. That's right. Um, But yeah, no. Thanks very much for watching. Um, Make sure to drop subscribe and like the video. Uh, We'll be back soon.